The 1930s saw a move to a more subtle colour palette, warm neutrals, from cream through to apricot. Smoky colours and earth tones were popular. More artificial textiles were developed. Nylon was introduced as a substitute for silk, making stockings cheaper to buy. An innovative two-way stretch material was introduced, perfect for the girdle or suspender belt which supported the stockings. The new elastic material gave light abdominal support and allowed freedom of movement to the wearer. Knickers, or panties as they became known, now finished well above the knee and were close fitting to maintain a slender outline. The brassiere had developed from the bust bodice of the 1920s and it was during the 1930s that the term bra came first into use. Rather than compressing the bust, the bra now provided lift, support and separation. The waist petticoat was replaced by a knee-length princess petticoat or slip, often fastened at the side with poppers to maintain the slender fitted outline. Stockings were made in shades of tan, nude or grey and from a variety of yarns, including silk, rayon, cotton and nylon. They were suspended from the girdle by means of elastic suspender clips. Hair was worn short, close to the head and in a permanent wave. The bias cut became fashionable. Fabric was cut diagonally across the grain, creating a natural elasticity. This enabled the fabric to curve closely to the figure without being restricting. A wide range of well-designed paper patterns were available to the home dressmaker. This blouse is made from a simplicity pattern and the suit a butterick pattern of 1936. The zip fastener came into regular use. Hems now finished below the knee. Blouses could be worn tucked into the waistline or over the skirt. Padded shoulders came into vogue. Sharper lines were featured and narrow belts emphasized the waist. In 1929, the Wall Street crash had brought the Roaring Twenties to an abrupt end. The Great Depression, which followed, had a domino effect on other countries as they also fell into economic crisis. Fashion responded with a return to more sober lines. Hems dropped, the waist returned to a near natural position, and clothes became more practical. Hollywood provided escapism, and glamour for those who could afford it, but for most, austerity day wear became the look, softened only by pretty blouses with soft bows, and the wearing of delicate tilted hats. <laughs>